he's got the whole thing beaten up by me. Scared. I just realized I had to replace him now that I can do this. Just in case. Wow, there we go. Okay, the garbage truck. Garbage truck. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. C. Welcome to my painting studio, Atmospheres. I've been here at KSU for 30 years. This is the year that I'm retiring, but I'm moving into a very exciting new phase of my career. So what do you think is the most important part about architecture and how do you try and show that in the studio and to the students? To me, it's not about architecture. It's about design. And really, architecture is very broad. You know, I view it as filmmaking and music and painting and urbanism and buildings. So to me, moving across the disciplines is what is so exciting about uh, the studio because it's not just about architecture. Architecture is about design. What do you think about this specific studio, the Spring 2023 studio? Our studio? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, I told Professor Welty that I wanted this to be the best studio that I've ever taught, and it certainly is. We're, we're right on track to make that happen, and I think it's because you all are so talented and so open and so willing to engage in the fine arts and architecture and see how one can energize the other. That's what's so exciting for me as your, as your professor. I mean, that, that's why I did the big paintings, is I wanted you to enter into the work with me and see you know, how you go into this like trance-like state to 
make something bigger than yourself and you really think about yourselves as artists and then the whole studio as an atelier of artists. If you could talk about what inspired the project, like where the painting idea came from. Well, uh, it's happened like my whole life and uh, I've really been inspired by painting but I didn't know how deeply until this semester and it happened when I was working as an intern on Long Island and I slept in my car and I was trying to get to work early because it took an hour and a half to drive and I got up and I got a coffee and I started walking down the street and I saw a painting, and it was by Helen Frankenthaler. And the painting changed my life, because I thought about architecture differently when I saw the painting. And it was that soak and stain technique that you guys have studied this semester. What was so powerful about it is that it very clearly showed opacity, translucency, and transparency, which is the basis for our studio of atmospheres. My legacy here is the there, the trajectory of students that I've taught, over 2,000 students now out in the world, and then their own talents. And so if I have uh, a talent as a professor, it's seeing inherent talent in anyone and allowing that to bloom or blossom when it needs to. And sometimes it happens after my studio, which is really interesting. So it's about patience, I think. And it's, it's interesting because some of the more quiet students that I've had as a professor bloom later, and they come back to me and say, oh, now I know what you were saying. But I would say this, it's like, it's not just students, it's faculty. Um, I have been the person that's been more of a background professor like I, I try to be a support and a mentor to people and that's my legacy is how I've mentored and seen potential in faculty members and see them uh, flourish that makes me very happy as a as a colleague so I hope that mentorship is my is my legacy I'll say, you know, uh, for me, my wife uh, is a huge part of my life. She's so, such a strong uh, supporter of my life and my work. I'm so happy to have her in my life. She's from Brazil. Her name is Selma. And then I have two daughters from a previous marriage. Uh, I got married just a year ago. Uh, and so it's been really exciting, you know, new part of, of my life. And so for, for me, that's been a real breakthrough, you know, being able to balance uh, life and work. I hope that after I retire from uh, KSU, that I'll continue every few years to be a visiting scholar at different programs around the world. And sometime I might take a leadership position, but for right now, I'm gonna do some paddle boarding and some painting and some uh, reflection. Uh, and recharge, but I'm very excited to be working with you all. All right, thanks. Cut print. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.